Hello, welcome back to Trending Global. It's Yuma Saigal here. So we're going to look at how China is using the loans that they're offering to African countries to colonize. We call it dead colonization in quotes. So apparently since 90s, uh, African continent have been borrowing bits by bits from the Chinese government. And these governments have not been asking for, you know, collateral. Because, you know, these loans are very expensive and they're very risky because sometimes a government might do an investment in infrastructure of roads. And apparently, whatever they wanted to be transporting in that road does not give them enough revenue for their own country or rather even that will be able to repay a debt. So you find out that World Bank and other uh, westernized countries feel like the risk is too high so they don't give such big loans to African countries. So actually Africa has 54 countries in it so don't think that Africa is one country. It has 54 countries in it. So China took advantage of the loop and they decided to be given African countries alone without a lot of predetermined action of, you know, the risk and the collateral thereafter. So it used to be small loans, but since 2009, they've been giving billions of money to African countries. So uh, a recent twist has been happening, you know, there is this trend of things happening that China comes, they, they give a loan to a government. For example, they gave a loan to our country, Kenya, for, for constructing the, the, the railway, upgrading the railway, sorry. Upgrading the railway from Nairobi to Mombasa. And what they did is they gave us a loan and the lead engineer was their guy the the top jobs were for them and then the the minor and skillful jobs is what they give kenyans you know it's not right because you see kenya is a has a population of 65 percent working people those are young people they are unemployed they are educated they are learned they have skills why would they come with their prisoners and come do our job that is taking our rights so china should change the way they they giving out these loans with conditions or rather our leaders should change this thing because we feel like we're being colonized the second time by the chinese because if, if the job that was mine as an economist i'm not getting it in that department because a chinese feels more entitled because the government are the one who are giving us these funds to run the project. So that is one of the many things that we have experienced in our country of the projects being being handled by the Chinese government or rather being funded by them. Another sad history was the Uganda government. They were unable to repay back the debt as agreed and the China government threatened to take away their international airport because they are the one who did construction, renos and everything. So you wonder, are these loans changing to be threats? Are these loans changing to be allegiance? You know, like it's a loan, it's about money. Why are you coming in and threatening me of like, you know, we, we are going to own this airstrip. Bro, it's in, it is in Uganda, it's in Africa. Are you gonna carry it to China? Like you can't be threatening us. We we write an agreement, and in that agreement, actually, all African countries should revise the agreement they wrote. Number one, it's the the loan is the only thing the China government should be giving governments in African country. Labor, labor force, and jobs are for Africans, and specifically in Kenya, any other project that the government of China is going to fund, you should know. We don't want any of your people coming around to run our projects. The deal we have is about money, which we're going to pay back. So 
it's not about what that money is going to do. Projects we do is for our country. And those projects should create opportunities for our own people, not your people. So you stop neocolonizing as debt colonization. If, if you're not going to agree to terms that it's only about money and you're going to pay back with interest, then we rather go and take money from World Bank where they respect us. They know that this is a project we're building and Kenyans should own it and their people should work for it, not them bringing their people. They have never disrespected that much. You guys have been disrespecting us. Then you come and segregate workers. Chinese get better treatments and they earn 10 times than our own people. Yet our own people are more qualified than them. So whatever China is doing, Africa, it's high time you say no to it. We repay their loan back with the interest that you agreed, but there is no more labor force from China, no more China manipulating us in our own project. Because if you are going to manipulate us, then you will not pay back the debt. Why will you pay the debt yet? Part of that money is used to pay your own salaries. So you're going to have to choose one as China. You give us a loan, we will repay back. And you give us our own space. We employ our own people. They work for our project. Or you give us a loan, you keep on bringing your people. The part of the salary you are paying them will account when we repay back the debt. And it's high time you respect our cultures. If you are coming to work with us, you work with us. You respect us. There is no segregation. Thank you very much.